Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome if you are new. I'm Stacy, and today we are going to be looking at my new markers that I got because it's Inktober and I needed a nice gray range. And Artix is a pretty inexpensive but really nice brand of markers. I figured I'd pick myself up this set. And they come in um, different sets. This is the grays and I really love their packaging. I love the box. I love that it opens it opens up and it creates a stand for your markers so that when you lay them on the table they are slightly tilted so that you can see what's inside the box. There's a little handle which I'm probably going to take off because it kind of is in my way but I mean it's nice. The packaging is really nice. And this is our array of colors. I am in love with all these grays. I'm also going to pick up the blues, greens. I think there's several different sets. And this is the way I can get them. You can also get the bigger sets, which is probably more economical, but I can't handle um, or justify that kind of purchase all at once. So I figured I'd start with the grays because it's Inktober and I will use them more. And that's all I have to say about that. Um, it comes with, I see papers, there's papers, okay, some papers, we have. let's set those guys there, um, move my hair, we have a, how cute, it's a little postcard, that's pretty, right, I, I like the art, that's very pretty, a little postcard, and then a thank you, a little thank you card, I like that. And then uh, 32 colors. Oh, this? Really? Cool. I had no idea there were that many. Nice. Well, they gave us a little swatch sheet. It's not as, um, this is Bristol paper. It's a little smoother than this Bristol paper. I have other Bristol paper. This is the Strathmore Bristol paper, which is what I usually use, and it's much smoother than this one. I think I like this one better. Yeah. I have all kinds of Bristol paper because I have art boxes. But, um, at any rate, we'll go ahead and swatch them out on here and see what they look like. I really dig this little, the art on here. Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Okay, we'll start with... Um, the corner, or, let's see, they're not in this order, are they? Zero and twenty, no they are not, okay. So we will first put on my glasses so that I can see what I'm reading. Ta-da! There we go. Alright, that's more better. More better, more better. Alright, so we need WG, warm gray, WG9. WG. Doo, 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 doo. Really? Alright, I'm gonna have to. There we go, warm gray 9. And these these are really nice. They're um, super smooth. And we have the. Uh, let's give it a close. WG6. That's the six, that won't do. Pool gray, WG7, WG8. Now we have the warm grays across the top, right? Let's pull those out. And we have five, so we'll set them eight, five, and nine, nine. It's going this way, eight, seven, six. We want to count it down, five. And where's four? Four, two, three, and we have a one. We do. Where are you? I know you're in here. Aren't you? Anybody see it? There's zero five. That's the last one. And then WG1. Did I pull it out? I did not. Look for the W. There it is. Found it! Okay. 
we have WG1, and that's across the top. Let's go ahead and start over. Let's zoom in a little squish. There we go. And these have, um, this is what they look like on the barrel. And they have a chisel and a, um, I forget what we call this, pointed nib. Pointed. tip. I wanted the brush ones, but this is okay. I'll use them. I'll use them for sh uh, sh shadows and stuff. This is uh, 0 0.5 warm gray. This whole top row is warm grays. And I'm not a marker person, so um, yeah. Don't judge. <laughs> we have warm gray one. Okay. Oh, brown toned, aren't they? A little brown haze to them. Have to yeah. two. And I will use my swatch sheets because I won't remember what these look like. Um, not swatched. And then here's three. Now we have four. They feel good in the hand too. They're kind of triangle but rounded. So they're nice to hold. I don't really care for this paper, I don't think. But that's okay. I like how they're drying though. That looks nice. Wet, I'm, I'm not digging them. Once they dry, that's really nice. It's nice and smooth. I've been wanting um, Copic markers forever, but there's just no way that I could justify that expense because I'm not a marker person. Um, I usually use these for mixed media pieces or just to doodle or, um, is this one six or nine? Six. Whoops. That's the pointy end. I need the chisel. Ooh, that one's dark. Let's fill in all the corners. Ooh, it's nice and dark. I like that. Um, then we have seven. Wow. And I'm going outside of my lines. That's okay. It'll be fine. And we have eight. Which is almost black. Eight. Get in order now. And then nine, which is the very first one we were looking for. Is that popped on? It is. And they, they pop on pretty good on that end. You can hear them snap into place. So when you put your, your lids back on, make sure you hear the snap. So you don't um, dry out your markers. Okay, that's all of our warms. Okay, let's start with cool grays. CG, right? We have CG 8, 7, uh, 2, 4, Three. I don't want to ruin my box because I won't pull these all out at the same time probably ever again. This is five, uh, six. It's BG. Where's a BG? <laughs> What's a BG? Singer. Um. Then we have Cool Gray One. And cool Gray Zero Five. Then we have BGs and GGs. Oh, BG is blue gray and GG is green gray. Oh, nice. I do like me some green grays. So we have B, BG three, five, that's a CG. GG. Um, that's a CG. That's a GG. Seven. Oh, that's a weird array of colors. Okay. So we have BG3597. 
and one. And then we have GG. That's a C. That's a CG. Cool gray. Number nine goes there. And then GG goes there. There. We have a 120. A GG and then a zero. Alright, I got it. And it, oh, and inside there is a little cardboard grid to hold all your markers in place, which is nice. And I'm not having any trouble pulling them out and pushing them in. It seems really sturdy. Okay, cool. Alright. On with the swatching. Now that I have them all sorted, then I can put them back in there in some semblance of order. Okay. I'll put those guys there. Okay. Scooch these guys over here. And we'll start with our CG05. Well, it's almost non-existent. But it is one that I use a lot, like this super light gray that's almost non-existent, I use kind of a lot. You'd be amazed at how much it makes a difference in um, subtle shadows or creating a nice tone. There's one, there's two, yes, CG2, yes. Oh, gray. That's nice. I like that. I like the warms, but the, I'm really drawn to the cools. Anybody else drawn to the cool, a certain type of gray? I like the blue grays, too. They're really beautiful. And then we have, that's five. Do we have a four? We do. This is four. Nana. Four and five. Ooh, taking that. And then six. Kapow. That's nice too. And seven. Nice and dark. All right. Eight. Almost black. It's got a bit of a bluish cast, but not terrible. Like, not true blue. And this is number nine, which is almost black. Imagine if you layered it enough, it would read black without a problem. See? That's nice. Cool. <laughs> no pun intended. And then we have, we'll start here with our BGs. Blue gray one. Hmm. Almost clear. Blue gray. And then we have. Number three. It's not a ter terrible big difference. Three. And then five. Doo -doo -doo. Ooh. Oh, I dig that. That's nice. Okay. There. And then seven. Yep. Oh, that's good. I like that a lot, you guys. Seven. That, that might be a favorite color. It's close to indigo. Indigo is one of my favorite, favorite colors on the planet. There we go. Almost black, once again, but with a really nice blue cast to it. That midnight color that, that I like. And then we'll go GG, which is green gray. Number 
Oh, this is three. I need one. Do I have one? I Number one. Very soft. I like it. Three. And this is strictly a swatch session, you guys. I'm not going to do any art with these. Um, I did this piece a few days ago for Inktober 52. And I put a little bit of the one of these grays on it, and I was digging it. So tomorrow I will do a drawing and utilize these. What number am I on? Five? Yeah. Is that reading green to you guys? Not really. Not to me. I mean, it's definitely not blue. It might have a bit of a cast to it. Oof, that's dark. And then nine. Ooh. That's super dark. Maybe once they dry completely. And then here we have zero, which is colorless blender, and um, 120, which is supposed to be just straight black. The paper's folded. Yeah. Black. As opposed to any of those, right? Those are pretty close still, though, if you layer them up. And then the color blender is what it says it is. I mean, I'll swatch it just the same, just so that you guys can tell that there's no... It has a teensy bit of a cream cast to it. Let's do... Let's pick a couple. Do that. And then a warm over right the top so you can see it. And then color splendor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Gotta make some mud. Okay, well, maybe I need to uh, have a better marker paper. This is not exactly feeling like marker, marker paper. Instru okay, so there are actual instructions on here, too. For those of us who don't know the best way to take care of markers, please gently remove the cap. Don't pull the cap directly or roughly. Well, <laughs> I already did that lots of times. Uh, the difference in air pressure between the inside and outside of the cap may cause the ink to leak out of the tip. Uh, please tight the cap after use. I mean, I imagine that means press it down tight. And store the marker pens horizontally. Yeah, there's all of our colors. Aren't they nice? I mean, that's a nice selection of gray tones. I am full on digging it. And I do have a very inexpensive set of, um, I forget what these are, Tanamint markers that I use pretty regularly. I meant to buy Ohuhu's brush tip ones and I, I ordered the wrong thing on accident. And I have a whole selection of the King Art ones that came in one of Jazz's boxes that I use pretty regularly. And then I have some Tombos as well. Because, I mean, who doesn't love a nice Tombow? Yeah, that's awesome. And I think, I think, how many, can we do that? Can we do that? Put the worms on the top. That'd be nice if they were in an order, right? Because they were not in order when I when I got them at all. That's those worms. All right, and then that leaves me with my two dark ones. Put them, I don't know if this is wise. Put them there, I guess. And then we have our cool grays. They also go through to number nine. I'm gonna forget that. I wish this was a little longer. 
Oh well, it'll be alright. Cool gray, four and five. And then I also have cool gray. Five, six, seven. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Cool gray, six and seven. Should we do them in rows of three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know what to do. This is gonna bug me. This is like a pet peeve organizational situation. <laughs> gray, gr green grays. We don't have many green grays actually. Oops. This guy. And then we're at the bees. BG nine and BG there's a seven there's a five. Oh that's gonna make me crazy. My my logical brain is screaming right now, you guys. <laughs> it's going, no, this is not this is not how you do it <laughs> for right now, so that I don't lose my mind. I'm just gonna tuck them in like that. Normally, I would want all the warm grays together and all the cool grays together. And then we have blue, blue grays, green grays. I'll figure it out. This is hurting my soul just a little bit. <laughs> At any rate, it's a beautiful set. I, I, do you guys agree? Do you, do you agree that it's a gorgeous set? I mean, look at them all. Gorgeous. And then the case is just awesome. I, I dig this, the thought that went into designing the case like a lot. Um, I will probably swatch these on Bristol paper just to see like the difference and make sure, because this is what I'll probably use these on the most is Bristol paper or um, 140 pound cold press watercolor paper is also what I will use these on. And in mixed media pieces, because why not? That's what's fun about mixed media. You can use whatever you want. But this this is a really nice set. I'm very happy that I got it. On Amazon, I think it was like $20, $22. Um, well worth it. And I enjoy it so far. And uh, yeah, you guys will see me use them over the course of the month with um, other inks and working on more um, Inktober pieces. This was week... 37 spooky and I just did it in the black ink. I spilled coffee on that right there and then um, did the highlights in all the grays As you can see are super soft. I used a couple of the soft soft grays and, and it's really nice. I didn't have the light on when I did that. I was doing it on my lunch break So probably darken up those shadows and maybe use some of the markers. We could probably do that right now. Want to play with? Want to play? We sure we do. We want to play? Let's do... Let's do what do we want to do? Where did that sheet go? That I tucked away way prematurely. I might have to um yeah, I'll just swatch these. I need them swatched and maybe I'll tape it to the lid or something. We will do cool gray. Let's do cool gray number two. CG2. See, and there's plenty of room for your fingers in there too. If, even if you have big hands, the, there's lots of wiggle room in the box for you to get your markers out, which is nice. I don't know if they thought about that on purpose, but um, it is really nice touch. Okay, CG2. Let's get in here and do a little more, a little more gray than that. A blender. This is Bristol paper, you guys. Um, this is. All right, here's our blender. Is that gonna blend that out for me? I put it down. Not really. That softens it and mutes it. 
that's kind of not the effect I'm going for, so that's okay. I probably won't use that. It's all about personal preference, y'all. Creating is all about personal preference. What you do and don't like. You know, you do you. Don't let anyone stop you. Don't let anyone tell you, no, that's not the way. There are rules in art, but they're meant to be broken. 110%. Break all the rules. Break all the rules. I mean, maybe not all of them, but <laughs> definitely challenge them for sure. Let's try the tip. There. I like have some nice control. I like that. I'm going to have to get on my Skillshare and do a couple classes, you guys. Just do a couple of classes and learn how to really utilize my markers. Because I will use these for, like, sketchbook stuff. And I mean, of course, you can't sell your, your marker pieces. As prints, you can. But um, markers are not archival. So if you're thinking about getting markers and you want to like put lots and lots of work into, um, woo, excuse you, into a piece, um, just remember that, uh, I put the wrong cap. See, that's going to be a problem. I put the wrong cap on the wrong thing. Oops. I'll do that a lot probably. But they're, they're a lot of fun. Like, art is not, not meant to be, like, completely restrictive. It's supposed to be freeing and fun and experimental and, um, yeah, basically crazy amazing. I'm always shooting for crazy amazing. I mean, when I achieve it, I'm super surprised, but, um, happy nonetheless. I don't want those to be that bright there. Maybe a little, maybe a little lighter. Let's do this one gray one and see what happens. Does that muddy it up in a good way? I can't really tell. Can you tell? I think it does. I mean, we don't want it to be too warm. Grab those branches. There's one branch in there. And any marker aficionados out there, if you are cringing right now, it's okay. It's all good. It'll be fine. Kind of digging that. Kind of digging that a lot. <laughs> oh, the things you learn. Just by chance, by just messing around and seeing what you do and don't like. That's pretty neat. I take that. Out. Maybe a little rim around the. There we go. Okay, what else do we want to do? That goes there. That goes there. And maybe stick with our cool gray and go six. CG eight. Oh, see, I've got these in the wrong order for my eyes. They're not going to be okay with that. My eyes. 
I'm sure you guys will be just fine. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I want to do that. I kind of take this the way it is, but I also want to put a, a darker shadow on the background. I think this is going to be too dark. So put that back. And maybe go... How light should we go? Three maybe? Maybe we'll do three. And maybe the blue-gray number three would be a better choice. Well, let's try that. Some... Oops. Not that side. Some variation. We'll just... We'll just go right in. See how it does with giving us kind of, I would like a smooth gray back there. Anyone have any tips or is willing to tell me how wrong I'm doing it? Drop it in the comments. I will read it and I will reply. <laughs> And no, I don't mind that I'm kind of ruining the piece underneath the paper underneath because it's not my favorite Bristol paper on the planet. All the way down. It's drawing pretty even. I mean, Copic's dry really nice when you want that even tone across the paper. Man, it is a dream. <laughs> like straight up. Um, but this is pretty nice. I'm digging it for sure. You know, to finish up my experiment right here. Nothing, nothing wrong with a little bit of experimentation, right? Okay. Go all the way up the side. Have a nice, smooth, steady lines. Let's see if I can get that smoothness. Show me the smooth. Well, that sounded inappropriate. Marker lines. Maybe if I just finish my thought. <laughs> How's that? Oh, that looks badass! I'm totally digging it. I mean, this line right here, I'm not totally digging. Maybe we can smooth it out like so. How's that? Pretty damn good. I do say so myself. See? Dissatisfaction. That coffee stains. I was so mad too, you guys. <laughs> I was so frustrated with myself. It was early in the morning and I don't do mornings very well. And I brought my coffee over to the art table and I sat down and I set it on a stack of stuff over here and it wasn't. Okay, guys. I think I'm done messing around for, ne for tonight. Um, I'm full on digging these markers. And let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. Do we like the markers? Do we not? I mean, 
There's a little bit of streaking, but that's probably due to in, um, inexperience on my part. Uh, overall, and this is coffee. <laughs> overall, I really dig how they work. That looks awesome to me now. So, yeah, if I do say so myself, you know, nothing wrong with a little confidence. I'm going to pop these back in where they were for now. I'm going to have to reorder these because that's going to make me crazy. Anybody else got a pet peeve about logical ordering of things? <laughs> All right, I'm going to zoom out. Out. There we go. Here's our swatch. Here's the piece I played with. And here are our... Woo! Slippery suckers. <laughs> Here are our markers. Yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!